With the introduction of the M4 inside the new iPad Pro 11 and 13 inch with OLED displays, a lot of you are wondering when will the new M4 MacBooks release and when will that new M4 Pro and M4 Max chip also launch too? So the great news is that we are going to be seeing more M4 devices in 2024 and in fact MacBooks are definitely on the cards here. Check out this leak right here from Mark Gurman. With those new iPads that we just got, the iPad Pros, Mark was right on the money here. We got M4 inside it, we skipped over M3 altogether. And this also means now that, to be honest from me, there's a little bit more faith here in Mark Gurman's leaks, showing us right here that we will be seeing M4 devices in 2024. And Mark has claimed here, as you can see, that a 14 inch MacBook Pro will be getting the M4 chip inside of it before the end of 2024. And there is also the possibility that we may see the M4 Pro and the M4 Max also put inside the MacBook Pros at the end of 2024, or even just since the early start of 2025. In my opinion here, I think this may play out in two ways. One scenario is going to be very similar to the end of 2023. So this means it'll be very similar to like the scary fast event at the end of 2023 where we saw the introduction of the MacBook Pros from the M3 to the M3 Max. And it looks like we'll get exactly the same here, M4 to M4 Max in all of the MacBook Pro models. Or the other scenario is, and you have to stay with me on this one, we may just get a press release of the M4 MacBook Pro and maybe the iMac 24 inch may also get a M4 put inside of that and it will just be a press release there. Now the reason why I say just a press release is because Apple have a lot of devices to update this year. We have brand new iPhones, so the iPhone 16s coming in this year. We also have a redesigned Apple Watch, some new AirPods on the cards, and even the possibility of a new HomePod, and even Apple TV too, because right now the Apple TV only has an A12 inside of it, so yeah, it's long due an upgrade. Then there's also still some iPads that need updating. There's the 11th gen iPad, what needs at least an A15 put inside there. And then also the iPad mini 2. This is the longest iPad, what hasn't had an upgrade. And in fact, apart from AirPods Max 2, this is the longest device that has any kind of upgrade inside of it too. So with that, you can see where I'm coming from here that, you know, if they were going to release all of those products and also all the MacBooks before the end of 2024, it's going to be a very, very busy time on the second half of 2024. So I just don't think that there is the possibility that Apple could release all these products all together. It's just not going to be the way it's going to happen. What I see is that personally, that it could be that press release and that we could be seeing the M4 MacBook Pro and also the updated iMac, like I said, and then maybe in like January 2025, we will see the M4 Pro and the M4 Max. But at this moment in time, it's unknown when we're actually going to see those updates. But like I said, that's the way I possibly see the two scenarios, how it's going to play out here. So the next question you're probably wondering about is about the design of the MacBook Pros. Are we going to get any big design changes this time? Well, I believe the sad news is going to be, or the sad reality is going to be, it's probably going to be a no. There's probably not going to be many upgrades in the design whatsoever. The only thing I can think of right now is the 14 inch M4 basic MacBook Pro. So this is the standard one that has space gray, may get the space black option this time round, just like the M4 Pro and the M4 Max will get. And the other possibility is that we may even see just a brand new color introduced to the range altogether. Apple may do this again this year, but they may not. But overall, what I would say is don't expect any other kind of big changes on ports or design design wise and I'm afraid it does mean as you can see right here that we won't be getting any OLED displays put inside the MacBook Pro anytime soon or at least not on this generation and possibly not even the next generation after that. Apple look like they'll probably be putting this in their say their next designed MacBook that would be my opinion so this is after about five or six sort of generations of the current design we have now before they do any kind of those kind of radical kind of big 
changes there. So yeah, probably looking more towards say M6 MacBook Pros, we may actually get an OLED inside of it at that point. But for now, no, nothing like that is coming right now. It's just going to be the iPads to have the OLED displays in them right now. And the same with the Apple Watch and also the same with also the iPhones. But one thing I can tell you that is going to be happening very soon, and that is the giveaway we're doing on this channel. And that is happening at the end of June time this year. So that's right, folks. We are giving away this MacBook Pro that we have right here. This here is a 14 inch MacBook Pro with an M3 inside of it. And it has also been specced up to have 16 gigabytes of RAM inside of it. So you don't just get the basic eight gigabytes. And it's also got a 512 gigabyte SSD inside too. So that is really, really awesome. And like I said, I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel on the international giveaway. And all you have to do to enter in is just put down in the comments below of what Apple gear, what technology you're planning to get in 2024. It doesn't have to be Apple related, it be anything. Just put that down in the comments below. And then also at the same time too, is that we're going to be doing the announcement of when the live stream is going to be happening near the end of June time. So you won't want to miss out on that. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell too, to find out all the information about fully entering into the giveaway. And because there will be a form to fill in and things like this. But like I said, all that information will come there. But the other thing I just want to quickly say to you guys is that sadly there are lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me, telling me to Telegram, WhatsApp, part with money for postage and things like this. This is not me at all. Please do ignore them or better still, as you can see right here, please do report them. So next of all, let's talk about the potential power we could see in the M4 Pro and inside the M4 Max. Now, right now, as you can see here, the current M4 is around about 20% faster than the M3. And yeah, it's about 75% faster than the M1. The problem is applying this kind of maths to the sort of M4 Pro and the M4 Max is quite tricky now. Apple like to add in more cores, or if they add in more, say, CPU cores, they like to add in more efficiency cores, maybe take away some of the performance cores, it's a real mix bag here, and especially at the M4 Pro and the M4 Max, they just have completely different numbers each time now, in every generation now, of the amount of cores inside there. And we have no idea how many cores Apple are planning to put inside their next generation of the M4 Pro and the M4 Max. And yeah, it's really, really tricky to figure this out right now. So really, I cannot give an exact amount of kind of like a Geekbench score or anything like this of kind of the estimate of what it can be. But what I would say is based on past history, and you know, I would say take this from me with a grain of salt here, because literally this is not my word here. This is not what will definitely happen. But I would personally see, would probably see about a 20 to 25% on each chip. So what I mean here is M3 Pro to say M4 Pro, expect a 20 to 25% gain. And the same from M3 Max to M4 Max, expect about a 25% or 20% gain there in kind of CPU performance. And then to do a GPU performance, I'm not even going to go there because it's really complicated to work out the graphical powers and especially with new graphical technology technologies and AI abilities and things like this, it is really tricky to figure that out. So yeah, I'm not even going to go there with how more powerful graphical power is. We'll just have to wait and see. And hopefully down the line, we may get a leak of a benchmark of graphical and also for CPU of the M4 Pro and the M4 Max. We'll just have to wait and see on that. And with that, guys, what are your thoughts on these new M4 MacBooks? Will you be getting one and waiting out now to get one and skipping over M3 altogether? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also at the same time, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, as I said before, please do subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell to find out more information. And if you enjoyed the video too, please do press the like button. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.